Okay, hi. It's been a while since I've uploaded anything at length about Santa Muerte, and I know that a lot of people might be upset about that. So one thing that I haven't really mentioned in a long time at length is that um, you'll notice that as your practice or veneration or even worship uh, goes a little bit further with Santa Muerte, you'll notice that sometimes you'll start to have insights or you'll start to have uh, variations of um, different types of maybe like psychic abilities wake up a little bit or even a lot. Uh, you'll notice that with that awakening might come the ability to hear or see other spirits. Now granted, it's debatable on whether or not those spirits might have always been there or if they came with her. And uh, the truth of the matter is, is that the, the reason this happens is that a lot of people that are, that are coming in, uh, discovering their spirituality, and they are attracted to Santa Muerte, might have already known that they had the ability to see and hear and sense uh, the things around them that other people tend to ignore. Um, and, and when you're delving into a spiritual practice, just in general, it's always advisable to acknowledge those, those abilities that you have, those, uh, those given qualities that you have. Everybody has them, just some people tend to turn them off and some people tend to tune into them. And when you're delving into any spiritual practice, you tend to want to have communication or understanding or more comprehension when it comes to the spiritual world around you. And in doing so, you want to open up those senses. Um, and it's very much like a muscle, like they say, they have to be trained. Well, when she comes onto the scene, she's a very powerful, powerful force. So that force, her force in itself can be a little overwhelming to people that are just mm, fine tuning these, these uh, senses. And it might come off kind of scary sometimes because the things that were always around you that you weren't fully paying attention to might actually be more visible or more, you might be able to hear them better or feel them better. And it's not that Santa Muerte brings like evil spirits. It's just that her presence sometimes can be so strong that you that she kind of helps you to open up those senses so with that being said um yes at the same time a lot of spirits gravitate or are are kind of pulled through i don't know what you want to call it like spiritual genetics if you will uh pulled towards her energy she is an she, she is a a certain type of energy and um a lot of spirits are attracted to that. That's not to say that it's only good or only bad because it, it depends on who you talk to. But in my experience, um, the spirits of the dead are very much, and not that spirits of the dead are bad. They're not more, more than most spirits of the dead are just, think about it. They're just, they're dead people. And a lot of times they carry over the same personality with them in the afterlife as they had on this planet. So they're iffy. They're just like people are iffy. <laughs> um, but also she'll, um, she'll have other spirits around her. Sometimes the energy of saints and, and healers and, you know, the, the Godhead and, and they'll, you know, um, sometimes even old like pagan gods. I mean, you, you, and you never tell, you can never tell because it all depends on what's already in your environment, you know? So she can bring lots of different types of energies, lots of different types of spirits. And, um, the reason why she does is because she's so, she's such a powerful force that she's a part, like her energy itself is a part of pretty much every type of, of spirit out there and yes even the spirits that nobody really talks about too much and nobody wants to acknowledge those as well nature spirits like I can attest to the fact that she has a connection 
with nature spirits. I can, I can tell you that because I have activity in my house that's from a type of nature spirit. So, um, celestial gods in, in infernal, you know, ones as well. And all of the ones in between ancestral, everything, everything. And I'm not really trying to make her into like this all mother. It's just a simple fact that death energy is connected to everything, you know? So that's a lot to take on for somebody who like just left the church or somebody who came from atheism or somebody who, who even came from paganism. It might be a lot to, to, to take on. Um, and that's not to sway you by any means. I'm, I'm not a gatekeeper, you know, and I'm just trying to prepare you that unless you have previous experience, um, tuning your psychic senses, then when you invite her into your home and you thoroughly mean it from the bottom of your heart, um, with her comes a massive energy. So people will, might experience um, activity in their house or in their dreams or uh, it just in their waking life, they'll start to, they might, might, it's not always guaranteed, but they might start to notice things. They might start to have moments like uh, epiphanies or they might start to have prophetic dreams or things that they wouldn't normally have had prior you know because uh, this is a work um having a relationship with her is a big leap it's a big leap forward this is not something that you you know just uh jump into without being aware this is a very uh committed situation because I keep wanting to use the word formidable, but I don't think that's the right word to use. But she's a very powerful source. And um, I've noticed that uh, it's probably best if you have already done that inner work before having before starting a relationship with her because she can be a heavy hitter um and that that just means that all the while where she's such a powerful force it just means that her as people call it her blessings come hard and that's why she has so many followers because she is this is our realm this is her like she's right here and that's why a lot of her her petitions get granted like practically immediately and that's why People have dedicated their whole lives to her, and, and that's why people um, worship her. A lot of people do worship her. And I don't want to do anybody any injustice by saying, you know, that she's just a folk saint or anything like that. No, she's a lot more to a lot of people, and I'm not going to deny that. And for me to, to deny that would be wrong. She is a, a more than just a saint to some people. Um... But that is her, her moniker. That is her title. She is a santa. She is a saint. Uh, and um, I just want people to know that perhaps before delving into this, once again, not gatekeeping, just warning, just letting you know, just keeping you informed. Uh, before delving into this, maybe try some exercises that help you to understand the, the spiritual world better. Because when you jump right into this and, and you don't have uh, any kind of previous experience, it's a lot to handle. It's it's a lot. And, 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 and her practice is unlike any other. It's not like a lot of times, it's not like God worship. You know, it's not like ancestral veneration necessarily. It, it's it, Her practice is its own. They're really, you can't really lump it into a category. It's like something that you have to figure out. It looks a lot like, it looks a lot like pagan god worship, but it's not. It also looks a lot like Catholic ritual, but it's kind of not, in a way. Um, and it looks sometimes like ancestral veneration, but kind of not. You know, it, it's hard to describe. It's its own thing. And you, and, and, and you don't have to take my word for it. You'll figure it out because she'll teach you. If you really do have a connection, she will teach you. So um, 
yeah, just some advice. Um, look online. I mean, there's plenty of resources as to how to fine tune you, at least your, your Claire audience, at least your hearing and your seeing, hearing, seeing, and, and, and knowing and feeling. I mean, I, there's, there's actually quite a bit that you should probably <laughs> try to fine tune. There's plenty of exercises you can do online. Uh, and they're very simple. Uh, they basically just train you on how to perceive things better. Um, you can look up how do I fine tune my psychic senses. Just Google that and it'll help you before you get into wanting to develop a, a practice with Sangha uh, And it ain't, it ain't going to be overnight. You know, all of this takes time. All of this takes lots of practice. And I, and I promise you that if you do that and you start to, to feel a little bit closer to the, to the spiritual side of things, jumping in with Santa Muerte will be a little bit smoother of a transition, you know? So, because like my personal experience is, is that she appeared to me several times physically, like in my bedroom. And that might be a lot for some people to handle, but fortunately I was used to it because I used to see it all the time when I was a teenager. Um, she's jumped into my dreams. This might be a lot for some people to handle because they don't normally remember their dreams, but with her, they do have dreams. Okay. Um, if you're already, a, a, a kind of like a seasoned pagan, um, she might jump into your spell work. You might see, uh, like remnants on your candle or, I mean, yeah, you know, like sometimes you might see. Weird things happen with your spell work that didn't otherwise happen. And that's because the death energy is coming in. You know, like, let's not forget she is death energy. You know, like we need to really ignore all of the fluff and remember death energy is not something to toy with, you know. Um, and every, li every being in existence, I don't care if you think that they're immortal, they can die, okay? Because everything is, our theory is that everything is made up of energy. So when the energy ceases to exist, it is a type of death. So uh, once again, not trying to make her an all mother, not trying to make her like the almighty and powerful, you know, rules over blah, blah, blah. I'm just saying it's very strong, okay? So, um, and death touches everything. Even sometimes what we perceive as inanimate things, death can touch that as well. So I'm just saying, consider that. Train your psychic abilities. And um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. Remember, I have to approve comments. So if you're rude or if you want to be ugly, delete and block. Plain and simple. This is a place of peace and understanding and not of bickering. So... Um, yeah, leave them below and just know that if you want a, if you have extensive questions or if you want to do some kind of like one-to-one, -one, you want to talk personally with me, by chance, um, I do have a, an Etsy listing where we can do a consultation. I do it through Instagram or through Facebook and we do a uh, text or we do voice message because I don't really like doing video. It's like, eh, freaks me out a little bit. But um, yeah, if you want to do a consultation or a reading, hit up my Etsy and that's, uh, that's in my links. You can go check. It's uh, La Casa Calacas. I have listings there if you want to do readings or consultations. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.